Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the garage. As you can see, we're not really in the garage at the moment, but I wanna share with you guys something you probably already tell by the title. Uh, something that's kind of cool and that I've been learning on my own and just picking it up as I go along. So I wanna share this stuff with you guys and this might be the first of probably several videos because I'm still getting my feet wet. I wanna share with you guys what I know so far on this subject and how you guys can probably tackle this on your own if you're interested on this. It's a pretty simple setup and it's really something that if you would like to, you could probably take it and make some money um, with these skills. So without further ado, you can probably see it behind me. Let me spin this around and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so this unit here is called a vinyl cutter or plotter. It's called kind of a couple different things, um, but this one specifically is made by US Cutter. So you can see the model here, MH871. And you'll see a lot of them that look very similar to this. The major difference that you're gonna find is the length um, of the unit or the width. So how wide this thing is because um, it depends, you know, what size of vinyl you're gonna be putting through this thing and how big of artwork you're gonna to try to, you know, cut out at once. So essentially how this works, and we're gonna keep it very basic for this video at least, is this thing here is uh, essentially a knife. So it has a little knife and what this does is this is a roller. So it moves the vinyl back and forth and this goes left to right and it can carve out just about anything you can, you know, dream of. And what happens is there's a little tiny blade in here. And if I lift this up, it, because the machine's off, you probably barely see it, but there's just a tiny little blade. It's like a pin brick that'll sit on the bottom of there. You can probably not even see it. Honestly, it just barely sticks out the bottom. And that's just enough because the reason why you'll barely see it, it has to go just through the vinyl, but not through the backing of this paper. So you want to cut out just the vinyl portion, the sticker, but leave the backing because if it cut out both, then you would never be able to peel it off. So it's the depth on this blade is set just enough that it's gonna cut through that vinyl. Um, that's pretty much that part of it there. So like I said, this is a 15 inch piece of vinyl right now. And you can see the measurements here. I think this thing is a 34. So it's a 34 inch unit. So I could almost run a 34 inch piece of vinyl. Only problem with that being or caveat, just keep in mind is this blade can only go retract this far. So you kind of really only lose, you know, you lose these three inches or whatever this ends up being. I think it's about three inches. So even though it's whatever we said just now, a 34, Really, you're only gonna get 31 inches in there before it can't do much. And I don't honestly know if it can go right to the very end. I don't think it can. So just keep that in mind, depending on what you wanna do. Um, second thing I wanna mention, and probably something of interest for a lot of people, even if you have one of these, there is the misconception that you cannot run it on a Macintosh, MacBook, Apple, whatever you wanna call it, but you know, an iOS operating system. I bought this second hand off somebody and Lo and behold, it's running on a Mac. So it does work on a Mac. I don't know exactly. I could probably try to find out for you guys if you're interested. You know, drop a comment in the comments below. But the previous owner of this, this was a whole used setup. He did some sort of wizardry where I can use it with my Mac. So um, if he ends up watching this video, thank you. Because a lot of people say it's not possible, but it does work. So I've already cut out these uh, decals. So this software, and I'm not gonna get into how to use the software necessarily in this video, but you kind of just take whatever image or graphic or letters that you want, you put it on here, it has the inches here, and you send it to the printer, vinyl cutter, and it cuts it out, and the end result is something like this. So you're gonna have your transfer paper. Oh, and this is when I was doing a bit of the experimenting. You guys can see when I was trying to mess with the, the depth, this was when it was cutting too deep. So this is what I was saying. It went right through the backing paper as well. See how the letters are all cut right through the backing paper. That was set too deep. That was when I, I purchased it and I had to adjust everything. But you can do a lot of different stuff um, and you can pick these up used. So that's the other thing I wanna talk about in this. For this whole setup, I got it for an amazing price. So for $450, I got that. I got the software from the guy. I got a ton of extra vinyl. He gave me you know, this huge roll of Oracle uh, white. I got black and he gave me a bunch of box of stuff, extra vinyl, all those three rolls of black and green. And um, he also gave me heat transfer vinyl so that I could make my own 
you know, shirts and all that kind of stuff and the heat press to be able to press it all on. I haven't even touched that stuff or messed with it, but you can see I got a bunch of that stuff. So it's pretty cool. And what you'll end up with, so that there will cut it all out and it'll just outline it, right? So it'll cut all in here and you can actually probably see, hopefully you can see that. It's hard to tell because it's white, but the Boosted Motorsports logo is actually carved out in that. So like I said, because it's white, you can't really see it. Maybe the camera does or doesn't pick it up, but it is, there you go, you can probably see that. It is cut out in there, it's just ever so faintly. So once that cuts that out, you take it out, you trim it, and you're left with a product that looks like this. We'll walk over here. And what you do is, this is all the excess that I've pulled off. You peel it all off, you're left with this, but you can see that a lot of them are still filled in. You do something that's called weeding. It's not my terminology, but this is the vinyl industry's technology, or terminology, I should say. And you essentially get something like this that looks like a pick and you grab each little piece like this and you pick it and pull it. This is the tedious part. So you pull all these out and you know you have to pick every single one of these. This is the, the weeding process as they say. So you have to pull all these out and try not to do what I just did there is stick it to your existing lettering. Otherwise you have to pull it carefully off like that. So once you do that and you do all your weeding process, you use something called transfer tape or paper and you just lay this on on top. So what this does is allows it to stick to here so that when you go to apply the decal, you're gonna pull this off with the transfer tape, apply it to your surface, remove the transfer tape, and then you have the letters stuck to whatever surface you want. So this is gonna pull it off the backing paper apply it to whatever you want you take off the transfer paper and you're left with your sticker applied to you know for example i tested it on this computer so that's how you get it off of here and onto something is using some transfer tape this is kind of an experimental thing uh you know trying to figure out one that's not too sticky but not not um you know too strong or too weak you want it just right so that it pulls it off and it's quite an experiment trying to find one. This one I find, I think I've concluded at this point is too sticky. Like when you pull this off, it'll grab the your artwork no problem. But when you go to apply it to something, you go to take the transfer uh, paper or tape off, it wants to take it right back off the surface that you put it on. So that's something uh, you'll have to fine tune and, and dial in. The actual paper, or you know, the vinyl that I'm using is pretty good stuff itself. Oracle 651, it seems to be a, a staple in the industry. This is one that, that was supplied with my kit, but I just wanna go over that stuff with you guys, show you how that whole process works. I'm still learning. I'll try to teach you or you know give you guys any insight I can into the process as I go along, but it's pretty fun. I mean, you can make all sorts of artwork. I haven't really experimented with it too much outside of just producing this stuff, but um, any questions, again, you guys, be sure to ask a comment or a question in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, I'll share more about how I do this. Maybe I'll show you guys how to cut something out if you guys want. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.